Discover the power of Nimble's new Webform feature. As a business professional, you know the importance of quickly collecting information from your leads and contacts. Fortunately, Nimble makes it easy. With simple drag and drop editing and pre-designed templates, you can quickly create customized online forms that can be embedded in your emails, websites, social media pages, and everywhere else. Once a contact has filled out your form, you'll be able to analyze the information collected. In this video, we'll walk you through the key features and benefits of Nimble's web forms and show you just how easy it is to use them. Let's get started. To start using web forms, just visit the web forms tab. If you are the admin of the account, you will be able to enable this feature for your team. Once enabled, you can choose from a variety of preset templates or create your own from scratch. Let's say that you work in marketing and you have engaging content you want to share with your community. You can utilize the newsletter form, which will enable your audience to subscribe to future content sent via email. You can then customize the form. At the top, a logo can be added, as well as a title for the form. Using drag and drop, you can add fields such as address, company name, phone number, and so on, as well as create custom fields. For example, if you wanted your audience to be able to check a box to subscribe to your blog, you would add the checkbox custom field. You would then name your field and possibly make it a required field. When ready, click Create Field. You can modify any of the form fields or even delete them. When you're ready, just continue to the next page. Styling a form will ensure that the form matches your website. You can easily change label positions, placement of form buttons, the color of the form itself and background as well as font size, color, and type. Once your form has been designed to your liking, you can finalize the form. Under General Options, you will be able to name your form, set the action that will occur once a contact has filled out your form, set the status of submissions, and enable Google Campaign parameters. Under Create Contact, you will be able to choose contact fields for your submissions and get them added as contacts to your database. You can also set privacy, choose merging options, and apply tags. When finished, click Save Mapping. Clicking here will publish your form. You'll then have the option to embed your form on your website or share via email, social, or more with the Share Via link. Now you can embed your form wherever you need. If you want to share it via email, you would copy the share via link, then visit the single or group message tab, choose one of your existing email templates, then insert the link into your message. You can also save this link to the email template. To enable on your website, visit your web forms tab again, access the web form, then choose share form. Go to your website editor. For example, we'll use WordPress, visit pages, Click the plus sign at the top, then choose Custom HTML. I would then go back to Nimble, copy the two codes under Embed Instructions, and paste them into the field. When you are ready, click Update. Then click View Page to check your new form. When a person has filled out your form, they will appear under Submissions by date. You'll also see the name of the submitter, populated fields, assignee, and submission status. Take bulk actions by selecting the contacts, then changing assignee or status. You can also individually change these. To view the full details of the submitter, click the person's name. You'll also be given the option to add that person to your Nimble database. This is just the beginning of web forms, and automation for web forms is just around the corner. For more information about this feature, search web forms on support.nimble.com or write us at care at nimble.com. Cheers!